Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi right here. This is an OU battle. This is also video number 500 on my channel. I remember doing a 100th video special, and I believe I got around the same viewership as I did back then as I do now. But it's none the matter. This is an OU game. This is a really fun OU game. This is going to be a short battle as well. But the team I have here is uh, is one that I think Tennis passed me a long time ago. I've been using it more and more recently. Klefki Nido King is just like... It's really like two mons that are not like super super common in OU, but god damn they're good. Klefki, I swear every time I face a Klefki I almost always lose just because priority T wave and spike stack when it's against you is really hard to overcome in most situations. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty much just basic balance versus offense. You could almost call it offense versus offense, but I mean, he has a Pharaoh, I have a Hippo, whatever. Um, leads, I don't really want to be up against a lead Kelio. Um, that would be a worst case scenario. Lead Lottie would be kind of nasty as well. I mean, I do have Klefki, but in general, I'm just going to lead off with Tornadus because it's, I mean, it's fucking Tornadus. Um, it can knock off early on. It can U-turn off on other stuff. Um, first turn, I'm going to knock off. See that his Tornadus is actually Life Orb, and uh, luckily I did knock it off because despite me being Assault Vest, it's going to do a shit ton to everything. So now it's an itemless Tornadus. I'm going to go to Klefki. Um, on this turn, I go for a Spike, predicting him to switch out because, I mean, you know, I could easily paralyze his Tornadus with a Priority Thunder Wave. I figured he'd switch out. Unfortunately, he makes a very ballsy play early on and uh, stays in, and 2 it KOs my Klefki, which is terrible for me. And then I make the play of going for Thunderbolt instead of Volt Switch because I know I'd outspeed anything that comes in and Volt Switch off of it after. But, um, you know, I have to switch into Latios now as opposed to having a switch in. So, a little bit little bit disappointing to start off, but I'm going to be able to go back to Torn as he goes to his own Torn. I miss Hurricane, which sucks, but he ends up U-turning out. I don't know if he'd expect me, like, maybe he thinks I don't like the Torn versus Torn matchup. But now that I know he's without a Life Orb and I'm Assault Vest, I can, I can deal with that all day, so... I'm going to Volt Switch, or rather U-Turn off of his Manectric as he goes for a Hidden Power Ice. Luckily for me, um, we both have Manectric, but I have Hippo, which is like the Manectric counter. Um, I, have, I go for Stealth Rock, risking the 3 at KO if he were to actually stay in. I knew he wouldn't stay in, and I've been playing pretty aggressively all game, so I'm able to get my rocks up. I assumed this Lottie would go for Defog, you know, because I just set up two layers of hazards and he had a free free turn. But he ends up opting to go for Psy Shock, predicting my Torn. I mean, it's not a terrible play because it gets it low, but I'm able to U-turn off of whatever he wants to come in. Ends up being the Manectric, and uh, because I end up critting him, it's just, you know, it's fodder at this point. I can go to my own Manectric. Unfortunately, I lose the speed tie, but uh, what what can you say? Um, he's... He was dead to hazards if he switched, and I can just go back into my own torn and regenerate a little bit more HP. Goes to T-Tar. I know I'm faster than even Scarf-Tar, so I don't have to worry about that. And on top of that, I also have Super Power, so, you know, uh, T-Tar is just dead as when he brings it in. Pharaoh comes out. It's not even worth you turning off of because of Iron Barb, so I'm just going to hard switch out to Manectric. Get the Intimidate. Try to live a Gyro Ball, but he ends up going for Power Whip, predicting that, which is a very nice play. Um, luckily for me, I still have Nido King, and luckily for me, I make the good play of clicking Sludge Wave because there was no way in hell he was staying in with Ferrothorn on that turn, and uh, Sludge Wave just Oko something else on his team after Hazard. So uh, at this point, we're gonna trade some Pokemon as uh, he comes in with Latios, and it just Oko's Hippo from that range, which is a little bit crazy because I'm mixed defense, but um, I can once again trade and gonna take his Latios' life. And at this point, it's pretty much game over. I don't actually have Heat Wave, I have Hurricane, but as long as I hit. Um, which I do, it should pretty much be game, and to, to, to boot, he misses his Leech Seed, so. Uh, this was actually in an OU tournament, and it was really late at night, so when he sends out his Keldeo here, I'm just gonna forfeit. I gave my opponent the, uh, the buy into the second round, because, you know, um, <laughs> I didn't want to play more OU that night. But, uh, that's actually a really fun team. Uh, link will be down below. I've been using it a lot recently, um... Like I said, just something about Nido King and Klefki together. Like, Nido is a fantastic switch into Clefable if you've never used it because it's immune to T Wave, it resists Moonblast, and Sludge Wave just Oko is it. Uh, on top of that, Klefki is a great switch into, like, Weavile Lotties, obviously, etc., etc. And, um, Priority T Wave is something they don't really appreciate, believe it or not. Uh, outside of that, the team's pretty standard, and I, I quite enjoy it. Um, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, uh, expect CCL stuff going up, uh, very soon, I'm into, d I currently, right now, I'm not gonna spoil it because, you know, I've already played all the games, but, uh, there are plenty more CCL games coming your way, and they're all really interesting, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that, uh, in terms of just general OU, I have a live coming soon as well, so look out for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed, bye!